so I'm just coming out of this restaurant, right? And the food was amazing, first of all. In Tanzania, when they ask you, when you go to a restaurant and they say, what do you want? They really mean, what do you want? Because I told them I wanted fried plantains and it wasn't on the menu. But you know what they did? They, they got a banana and they fried it. Now it wasn't fried plantain, but the fact that they were willing to accommodate what I wanted. And the same thing happened when I came yesterday because yesterday I came and I wanted soup and um, I, wanted, I wanted fish soup um, because I saw that they had fish, but they, they only had beef soup, chicken soup and vegetable soup, you know? And so I was like, man, y'all don't got no fish soup. And you know what they did? They got a fish. Can I walk? Send this on now. They got a fish and made fish soup for me off the menu, bro. So when, when you come to Tanzania and people say, you go to the restaurant and they say, what do you want? Please believe that they truly are asking you, what do you want? <laughs> for real. But uh, the thought I wanted to kind of share is that I'm in this restaurant, right? Enjoying my fried bananas, chapati and beans, right? And I look up on the TV and I just see butt cheeks and bitties, you know, like everywhere. So here I am trying to avert my eyes away, you know, from what's happening on the screen, eat my food, feel me? Which, you know, just trying to, trying to do my best not to fall into temptation, not to fall into lust. And it's like every video that comes up becomes increasingly more sexualized and revealing and it really made me realize like for one of course it's my responsibility of you know not looking at that stuff but it just kind of blew my mind just kind of the state that we're in and i can't judge because i was one of the people who used to love this i used to love that stuff like please reveal more you know but now that i'm kind of walking with ya and I'm trying to engage like abstinence and trying to, and just realizing more about, you know, just like what, what that means and what that does. It's like, now it's like my eyes are being open to how much it really is, how sexual, how sexualized our culture really is and how normal that is. That's the crazy part is how normal a lot of this stuff has become. The fact that I'm here watching the video, I can't even enjoy music anymore without my, organs being tested bro you know feel me like i can't even enjoy a music video without being serenaded by sexuality it's 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 so crazy you know and it's, it's not to hate it's not to judge it was just blowing my mind because i'm thinking okay maybe the next video maybe the next video but then i realized it was a running theme through every video sexualization sells sexualization sells and so it's normalized i'm, I'm here looking like man is anybody like can we just have a music video where we're just singing like you just do a regular dance you sing you show some nice scenes and you you know you let the music do the talking nah it's like man this blows my mind just the state that we're in just the state that we're in in the world and again like i didn't feel any sense of judgment towards any of the people any of the artists it was just like it really just like blew my mind man just like wow like it really is hard this is what makes it hard to be walking with the most high not people but how much the enemy has convinced us to normalize the things that are against the most high that is that is what's that is what's blowing my mind not the people not the any respective artists but just how much the culture has normalized sexuality the culture that the enemy has created for us and we feel like we, we it's so crazy because i can imagine you know i know there's a lot of people a lot of women even who when this 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 liberation we get this feeling of liberation that comes when we're being when you're being proud you know in your bodies and you can reveal yourself and you can do what you want sexually and i get it you know i get it because as a man i may not do it in that way but as a man i search for confidence you know I, I i search for so many different things in so many different places but you know what i realized every every time i search for something in the flesh it never fulfills me it may give me a feeling you know it may make me feel good temporarily 
but I have to continue chasing it. It's never something that's fulfilling. It's something that I continually have to replenish. It never lasts. And even if I attain it, even if I get that sense of confidence or that sense of uh, whatever it is, you know, from those, like, from that fleshly source, it's also easily taken. And I, I feel like that is because if you find your confidence in something that you can see and physically touch and feel that means other people can also see it and physically touch it and feel it which means other people have access to the things that give you your confidence or give you your identity and so long as somebody else as long as somebody else has access to the thing that gives you a sense of identity or a sense of liberation or a sense of confidence or a sense of anything it means that they have the power to take it from you and that's the trick of the enemy. And he loves to play with us like this. He gives us a little bit of something, but he gives it to us in a way that it can also be taken from us so that we keep coming back to it and keep falling into these cycles and these loops. And this is why I realize, like confidence in the most high, confidence in finding your identity and functioning in accordance with how the most high has created us to be, and functioning in obedience is the only way to find lasting and fulfilling so much noise in the background uh, is the only way to find lasting and fulfilling anything because it's sourced in the most high it cannot be taken from you it may be threatened but there is a endless source and it's good you don't have to sell yourself out or degrade yourself or take away from yourself or make yourself feel bad to gain it again feel me like it's it's just crazy bro it's just crazy and I just want to encourage anybody. Uh, I also want to encourage anybody. I should stay. If you're trying to be abstinent, feel me. If you're trying to, you know, stay stay on the path. If you're trying to keep away from lust, trust me. I know it's hard out here. It's hard out here in these streets, yo, because the enemy is working hard. He is working hard with these attractive women in these videos, bro. He is, hey, he is hard at work, but stay faithful, stay true to it. Avert your eyes, keep it pushing, you know. Uh, when you fall in it, when you feel yourself like temptation going on, I realize we have to take preventative measures. When it comes to lust for me, it's not something that it's not something that I can wait until it's it's apparent to fight off. Nah, I always lose. I realize when it comes to lust, at least for me, we have to take preventative measures. Take the measures before the temptation comes or as soon as you feel it come on, stop whatever you're doing. Cut off the things that are leading you to. Um falling into it again me i had to cut off twitter i have to cut out i have to stop scrolling through my phone randomly because what i'll do i'll be scrolling through youtube i might not be watching the videos but the thumbnails entice me and so later on three hours later the enticement that started from that simple thumbnail develops into a desire to go and watch a full video or feel me like you know how it goes you know so i realize we have to take preventative measures if you have to you have to look for the small things because the enemy isn't always going to attack in the big things he's not going to just put always just put booty and butt in your face he's going to entice you with the small things that he knows will leave tiny little mental images or tiny little, little desires in your mind that will develop develop hours later even days later and you'll wonder how did i end up falling for this again well it's the small things that the enemy was planting tiny seeds that built up into a tree before you realized because you weren't you were looking for the big things and you don't you didn't pay attention to the small things so I just want to encourage you, man, like pay attention to the small things. As soon as you feel that feeling, come on, repent, you know, pray. As soon as you see something that might entice you, pray, cut it out. Stop. If your phone, if you're on your phone and you're being enticed even a little bit, put your phone down, go outside, go for a walk. Feel me like change the music you're listening to. If, if just like you got to man, look, I know I'm talking really fast, but it's just like, there's so much thoughts in my head and, and, and realistically I'm in such a good place man That's why I'm kind of laughing Because I'm like the devil tried it bro He knows I'm in a good place right now And he's trying to Trying to Trying to try me You know But Yeah man I just want to encourage you Stay strong Stay faithful You know We're in this together We're in this together You're not on your own You're not alone The things that you're dealing with Are not I promise you We're out here Dealing with it too All together And if in the event that you do fall Please understand that the Most High wants you to get back up. Do not allow the enemy to convince you to stay down. I know the things he will tell you. He'll tell you not to get back up. What's the point in getting back up if you're just going to fall again? Feel me? What's the point in getting back up when you can't beat this temptation? You can't beat this desire. 
What's the point in getting up when you actually like the thing that you should be trying to get away from? What's the point? What's the point in getting up just for just to ask for forgiveness, knowing that you're going to break the most high's forgiveness again? When you know you're going to break his mercy again, what's the point? I know all the things he will say. Do not let him get into your head and convince you of those things. Understand that the most high wants you to get up. When he called you, he already foreknew what that this was going to be a process. He knew that you were going to fall time and time and time and time again. But it's in your falling that you get well acquainted with his mercy and his grace. It is in your falling that you get acquainted with his mercy and his grace. It is in your incompetence that you truly realize your need for dependence in him. Your need for trust in Yeshua, his son. Your need for him. It's not just a, it's not just a vague faith thing. Oh, I believe in God. It's not just a believing in the existence of God. It's the realizing that you genuinely, actually need him. And you cannot do this on your own. And then the relationship starts to get deeper. See, the most high turns what the enemy will try to convince you is your end into your blessing. He turns it into lessons. He turns it into an even deeper relationship, an even deeper love. That's how good he is. That's how great he is. So if you're tripping up and if you're falling, repent and get back up. Repent and get back up. And then start taking preventative measures to get away from this. I'm about to head back home now, but I love you guys. You know, shalom, shalom. All of this might have encouraged somebody.